Good morning, U.S. History students. Today we're starting Unit 1B, which is on immigration and urbanization. So to get started today, you're going to empty your class folder. So that means your folder that you use in class, we put all your work in, <clears throat> you need to take everything out of it, your work goes home with you. You want to put it in a safe place. You will be having a um, final exam in December, and these papers from Unit 1A will help. You're going to pick up the following papers, a unit checklist, which is green, um, a crash course, which is white, um, the module 1B1 guided notes, which are blue, the module 1B2 guided notes, which are gold, and then the lynching and the excuse for it, which is white. There's a new checklist feature. At the end of each class, you must complete the planning portion of the checklist. So what that means is what you have to then look at what you accomplish in class, and then you have to figure out what you need to do before the next class to stay on pace. So this would be homework or option time work. Um, then you're going to document what you will begin working on in the next class, forward planning. So where will you be starting? Some of you are working ahead of pace so that you are letting me know and also you are letting yourself know what you're supposed to do at the beginning of the next class. So I'm transferring the responsibility of planning to you. We've been through the option program for almost an entire quarter now, and I have been doing a lot of the planning and checking in. Now you're going to communicate with me what you need to be doing for the next class. So there are new daily expectations, and um, don't think of these as add-ons. Think of these as better, more specific expectations. And these adjustments have been made largely due to your unit reflections. And having read through them, I was able to see which ways I can support you better as we proceed the school year. So for each unit, you're going to complete a module and the guided notes. Now you may keep your notes in your folder or you may keep track of them yourself. So what this means is if you would like to take notes home to study, to continue to work on them, you have that option to do that. But if you lose it, you're responsible for the information that you recorded on that sheet. So if you are going to take it with you, you need to find an organized way to keep track of your work. Then I've added another layer, which is a Quizlet link. So before you take your exit ticket or your mastery check, you will need to practice your knowledge. So you have a Quizlet link that allows you to test your knowledge before you do the mastery check. Um, then in addition to that, you are going to, uh, when you're finished with your mastery check, they're very similar to the prior mastery checks. Some will be objective, like matching or multiple choice, and some will require written responses. In addition to that, if you finish these, um, your daily expectations before the end of class, you wanna move on to the activity which is called Aspire To. So when you complete the module, Aspire To activities dig deeper into the topic and allow for greater understanding of the themes and big ideas. These are activities that add an interesting layer to what we are learning and helps us to remember and think critically about the content, which will help you later on in the EOC. They also are very good discussion starters, particularly around the dinner table at home. <clears throat> so with that, let me go ahead and um, go to some of the features that I want you to take a look at. So right now you have your Unit 1A wrap up uh, still on Schoology, and that's because a few of you are finishing up some assignments. Those are on your own. There'll be no more class time for the unit reflection, the letter to parents, or the upfront magazine. That is on your own. Um, Friday is the last day that you can turn those in, Friday 10-15, because that is the last day of the quarter. Um, after that, it will be marked as missing, and we're, we're done and we're moving on. So here is your new unit. It's purple, the Unit 1B Immigration and Urbanization folder. So when you click on that, you will see here your, your, your Unit B checklist. And this is the green sheet that you have in your folder, but it's here for you to take a look at and to um, use at home if you need to take a look at um, what we're doing at home. Um, I'll also have the link to this video up here. Uh, your first assignment is to watch the Ed Puzzle, Gilded Age Immigration, and there will also be a link here to the guide. And you will have a hard copy of the guide in your folder. You watch the Ed Puzzle and you complete the guide. And then you have your Unit 1B, New Immigrants, October 11th and 12th. This is a module you'll do in class today. And you have 
the same directions I just gave you. You're gonna watch the lecture video and complete the guided notes, which are blue. You're gonna do the Quizlet practice to review the material, and then you do the exit ticket. When you finish this, you work on the Aspire 2, which is an Ed Puzzle on Ellis Island. And you'll see that this is the same pattern for the rest of the unit. So when you are finished watching this video, if you did not get something, you can always back up and um, rewatch the video so that you can better understand what's expected of you. You can pause this video at any time. And um, it's there for the rest of the unit should you have any questions about how our unit will function. All right. Have a great class. Bye.